live and local. This is Fox 7 Austin News at 9. Good evening and thank you for joining us. For several years, Cody Wilson has been fighting to publish blueprints online on how to make 3D guns. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for watching Good Day Austin. I'm Jocelyn Sarkeesian. and Chelsea Andrews has the morning off, but don't worry, we are all in very good hands. Zach Shields is filling in and he's got our first look of today's weather. Cedar Park police have arrested a paramedic with Austin Travis County EMS who's accused of sexually assaulting a child. Moving on to something a little happier more exciting. The NFL draft starts Thursday and this year the fan experience is even better. Nine Austin police officers are on administrative leave after a deadly officer involved shooting outside of a bar on 6th Street. I'm sure by now all of you have heard about this upcoming story. Athletes are defending NBA superstar LeBron James after President Trump insulted his intelligence. Fox News correspondent Lauren Blanchard joins us live with the latest from Shasta County. Good morning, Lauren. Those who knew 27 year old Matthew Jacob Rodriguez held a benefit sale to help fund his funeral. All right, good morning, everyone. Happy hump day August 1st as well man mm -hmm. July just flew by Mardi Gras is on Tuesday and that means hundreds of people will be out and about celebrating this weekend it is time for pet of the weekend this morning we've got summer Huggins, Huggins with us. you so got, we've got it Huggins and Chugga <laughs> lots of use to get out this <laughs> yeah. morning yeah what an yeah. appropriate song we played it because Chugga and like sugar. After several weeks of preparation, the Arizona National Guard has placed troops on the country's border with Mexico. A semi truck driver accused of smuggling dozens of undocumented immigrants, including some who died, has been sentenced to life in prison. This week, the Williamson County Sheriff's Office received brand new bullet and stab proof vests for its canine deputies. Breaking news this morning, firefighters are at the scene of a house fire in downtown Austin, a few blocks away from the Capitol. You may have noticed it's been costing you more lately to fill up your gas tanks, and it's likely going to get worse before it gets better. A Florida Sheriff's deputy shot and killed a man who grabbed his stun gun. Authorities say the deputy was called to the home because of an ongoing domestic dispute. When the deputy tried stopping the suspect from hurting his girlfriend, the man turned on him. That's when the deputy fired his gun. Fox's Brian Scott has a story. Now we do want to warn you, some of the video may be disturbing to some viewers. 